when Derek Jeter, who is, I think, one of the most beloved players mm. in any sport in America in the last generation, right? I mean, no question. Is he still the most popular player in baseball? He is still the most popular baseball player. And, and he's been retired how long? Well, five years. Oh, well, six years because long he had, <laughs> yeah. yeah, long enough that, he, that he's going into the Hall of Fame today. I feel like this should, have be, should be getting more fanfare. But one way or another, Derek Jeter, who um, exemplified, in my view, um, more things about what it is to be a professional and to be the, the, the consummate professional and leader in sports than almost anyone I can think of, um, goes into the Hall of Fame today. Yeah, I, I think the, the point we're driving home here, too, is that Hall of Fame weekend, traditionally in the summer, obviously in years that are not affected by COVID, is one of the top two or three highlights of the baseball calendar. You right. get 50,000 fans there packing the, you know, the, the field and just th obviously throngs of Hall of Famers that come back. So in some sense, you are disappointed that they're not going to have that same kind of treatment this year. And also that it happening midweek as the NFL season is starting tomorrow, that it's not getting the, the attention that it deserves. But my relationship with Derek Jeter is a very complicated one because I grew up not a Yankees fan. I grew up in Philadelphia. And so and like in the late 90s when I really became a fan, he was sort of a villain to me and all of my friends and all of, you know, that was who he was. And then as I grew older and, you know, so begun working at ESPN, I sort of came along. I sort of got soft. I, I sort of went away from this, like, Derek Jeter is terribly overrated sort of standpoint where I came from based upon all the numbers to, like, there is a reason why this guy is adored and respected by every person that he comes across. Both those things can be true, which is to say um, there are people who will tell you that Derek Jeter is on the short list of the greatest players in Yankee history. And the answer to that is that's not true. That, that's not true. Derek Jeter, as a player, is not on the level of Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Mickey Mantle. He's not. But that's not what makes him mm. special. Now, I covered Jordan, and I'm telling you, Jeter— the, the, Jeter had a ton of Jordan-esque mm. qualities. They're good friends. And I remember seeing them once together. We were on, a, in a, on an island in the, in, the, in the Caribbean. I forget where we were that year. But for whatever reason, they sort of close off this area of the pool and restaurant where we were sitting and in walk Derek Jeter and Michael Jordan together. <laughs> that was quite the scene. <laughs> and you should have seen the reaction of the people going crazy around them. But I think it was then that I first got that thought. The leadership... The mental toughness, the, um, the character, the professionalism, all those things. I, I think that Jeter had as many Jordan-like qualities mm. in that regard as any player that I'm aware of. Now, Jordan added to that being maybe as talented as any player that ever lived. And Jeter wasn't that. J J J were, Jeter was a very, very good player who was impossibly clutch. He, because of the teams he played on, he had countless opportunities to come up huge in big moments and seemingly always did. That's the thing about Jeter. He, anyone could have made that play against Oakland and in, in whatever year that is now. Nine, what year was that? 2001. One, 2001. Whatever year it is. Anyone could have made that play, but only he did. Only he ever has. Only he did. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And, and only he would. Like anyone might have done that, but he did. Only yeah. he did that. Anyone might have hit a home run in the World Series in November Anyone might have hit a grand slam for their 3,000th hit. Anyone <laughs> might have done a lot of things Derek Jeter did, but they didn't. Mm -hmm. He always did, and he did it wearing the most storied uniform and cap in the sport, in any American sport. So I, I, I absolutely support Jeter's place in the pantheon of players in American history, despite the fact that very, very specifically, if you wanted to point out flaws in his play, you could do it. Yeah, you definitely could, and I think the... The conflation is he was not the greatest player of his generation, and he was not the greatest shortstop ever. But who would, who would not have exchanged their career for his? Mm -hmm. Th they're two different things, right? I mean, in the, during his span as on the Yankees, their average record was 96 and 66. He's the only player to ever play 20 years without a losing season. All that winning he did, all those moments that he had— those are two different things. I guarantee you he would not exchange his career for anyone in the history of baseball. No, and I think a lot of people who had greater careers would easily exchange theirs for That's his. That's totally true, too. That's the point. So congratulations, Derek. You richly deserve this. I would like to have seen it with a bit more of the traditional fanfare because you unquestionably deserve that and a whole lot more. So congratulations to Derek Cheater. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.